Today we have one of the classic voices, one of the classic talents in country music with us, Mr. Gene Watson, a man who's had six number one songs over the year, over 70 charted songs in country music over about four decades since he's been making country music. His latest CD is called A Taste of the Truth, and it's a great, great record. Allison Krauss is on this record, uh, Trace Adkins, a uh, bunch of different people, uh, Rhonda Vincent. Rhonda Vincent is also singing with you. Good looking, isn't he? <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope they enjoy what's inside more than they do the cover. <laughs> this man's got fans all around the world and for, for very, very good reason because when it comes to country ballads, there is nobody better. There might be one or two they put in the same category, but there's none better. And uh, he, he'll, he'll prove that on Mountain Stage today. And as a matter of fact, this is your latest record, but I understand you got something coming up that's really exciting. Your 50th, yeah, 50th album. album. Looking goodness. forward to having it out too. That's uh, quite a milestone. And, and uh, I'm just so thankful to all the fans and friends out there that enjoy traditional country music because uh, that's what I'm about. Exactly. If you, and if you are a country music fan, but uh, what's on the radio, what country stations now is, is, is not exactly your cup of tea, you want to you wanna stick with the Gene Watson because that traditional sound is what he's all about. Well, when, for, assuming we got somebody out there watching this who doesn't know Gene Watson, tell us when you started singing. You're from Texas. Yeah. And or did you sing first in Texas? Well, yeah, I started in Texas. I, uh, got, actually, I got into music kind of indirectly. Uh, I, I never dreamed of being an entertainer, performer, singer, because my whole family were singers. Uh, but I was performing in nightclubs and everything down around the Houston, Texas area. And some people heard me singing, and asked me would I like to m go to Nashville and make some records. And that's actually how my career got started. Was that the Wilburn Brothers? Well, the Wilburn Brothers were the first ones that took me on the road with them. Uh, and I, I did some demo recording for them. But actually, a couple of guys that have passed away since, Roy Stone and Russ Reeder, uh -huh. took me to Nashville exclusively to record me in Nashville. And, and our first uh, national release was a song called Bad Water, uh, first song that ever got in the charts. Right after that, we released Love in the Hot Afternoon, which got me my big first song. major recording yeah. contract. Well, that was a big, yeah. big song for you. Yeah. And I'm sure that you still sing that because that's, oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody wants to hear that. Farewell Party, yeah, yeah. Uh, Paper Rosie. There's there quite a few of them that I imagine you can't get off stage without singing. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have, you know, the most requested songs. And, and, of course, like I say, the people have been so nice and asked me what my favorite is. My favorite's whatever their favorite is. Yeah. We try to do them. And uh, as far as my favorite, it would be hard because I had the the freedom of picking and choosing all the songs that I've recorded throughout my career and so uh, each one of them had you know some kind of special meaning to me so whatever they want here's what we like to do. I still recall the morning that I met you standing out in front of Wilson's flat dining staring through the window at the jewelry hungry for things you couldn't buy just like a fool, I thought that I could please you. I saw you had an eye for things to shine. I paid seven some mil dollars for a bracelet just to satisfy your 14 carat mine. When, when did you first go on the Opry? The Wilburn Brothers. They took me on the Opry. So for that the was first way time. back. Oh, it's back in the 60s, yeah. And, uh, it was at the Ryman, yeah. Ryman Auditorium, and probably one of the, the highest of highlights of my career. They took me there. I was supposed to do one song. I, I got a standing ovation, and I had to do two, which was purely unrehearsed. And, and uh, for somebody that, that had never been to, to anything like that, I was about as nervous as it gets. It must have blown your mind. Oh, you, yeah. you, you had to be 20, what, 21 or 2 oh, or 3? I, I don't remember. In the <laughs> mid, early 20s, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It must have just been, what an experience. It was. It's one that I'll never forget. And and, uh, and I really, uh, Teddy and Doyle Wilburn, uh, they hit me a whole lot. Like I say, I recorded some demo tapes for them out of their publishing company. They took me on the road. I performed one or two of their shows and then they nothing would do them but for me to come back and be on their segment of the Grand Ole Opry and and that was uh that was a night I'll never forget. I took the rose from her trembling hand with eyes of age she smiled and walked away like a breathless 
spring I could smell the rose It came alive And I heard her say This, this most recent record, uh, how did uh, Alison Krauss get involved in that? Was it she, did you contact her or did she, you knew she was a fan? Well, the producer of the album, uh, Dirk Johnson, is of course a good friend of mine. He played piano on a lot of my recordings and, and we got together and worked on this project as him as a producer. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, who don't love the way Allison sings? And, and she's a good friend of Dirk's and, yeah. and, uh, and from what I heard, she's a big fan of mine and me of her. And so, uh, I've got to thank Dirk for putting us together. Uh, as busy as Allison is, she found time to come over and, and, and do some harmonies with me on one of the cuts on this right here. So, And she's phenomenal. I, I thank is. her so much. Her, ta her talent is so huge. And Allison, she first came on this show, I guess she was about 18. And you know anybody immediately sees, uh, even then, <laughs> you saw, my goodness. Yeah. And she wasn't even singing much then, but she was known as a fiddle player more. Yeah. And you just heard her sing, and you thought, my Boy. goodness. She came out, and she's got a terrific voice, and, and I just appreciate her so much. And, and Rhonda Vincent, another one that, of course, in the bluegrass field. Absolutely. Uh, she helped me out with my last album before this one, an old Buck Owens thing called Together Again, oh, yeah. which won uh, a couple of nominations, you know, and, and when we were putting this project together, we came across this song. It just knocked me out, and but it was a duet, so I, I got on the phone and called Rhonda, and she was good enough to come over, and, and lo and behold, the record company released it as the first single in the Indie World Charts, this song made number one. Great. I'll stay in together. And, and Rhonda, I appreciate her so much. Now the bourbon street lady sleeps like the baby in the shadow. In the shadow. She was new to me. Now you're on the road how many how many nights a year? Oh, a couple hundred? We're like the old time doctors, you know, that make house calls. We <laughs> we stay out there. <laughs> well, you got a chance then to to check out Gene Watson. If you see him in your neighborhood, wherever you are, and you really want to experience what country music is really all about and has been traditionally and still is, then you ought to go check him out. He's going to do a few songs on Mountain Stage. We hope you hear the show, but you don't need to go and see him whether he's playing at a concert hall. Uh, at a, at a school, at a festival, wherever it is. He plays all over the United States and in Canada too. And, and I know you also are big in Ireland. I, I went online and, and found a, a big website of fan from Ireland who yes. has knows more about you than you do, yeah. I bet it looks Sean, like. Sean Brady, yeah, yeah, real good for our fan club and, and our webpage. We have a webpage in the States, genewatsonmusic.com, but we've also got one that's based out of Ireland and it's gene-watson.com and Sean Brady takes care of it. And, uh, yeah, if you want to know something about me, don't ask me, ask him. <laughs> well, you, you, you go to Ireland and you must on a regular yeah. basis then, right? We do, and, and also England. Uh, we're, you know, we have real, real good luck in, in, in England, and, and we're already booked to go over there next year. So we, we've got a lot of things we're looking forward to. Certified country music legend, Mr. Gene Watson. Uh, mountainstage.org is where you can hear it if you don't have the show on your public radio station. So go and see Gene, pick up this CD. A Taste of the Truth, and watch for that new one because it's his 50th album. It's coming out soon.